Former U.S. Army soldier John McIntyre was a foreign mercenary in Ukraine. Earlier this month, John packed everything papers, documents, maps, and so much more, everything he had gathered right. over the year and made his long-planned defection. All right, what we got here, my fine friends, is a former U.S. Army soldier goes over to help with the Ukrainian fight, right? You know, as a mercenary, we'll call it. But the entire time with the intent to defect to Russia. Interesting. Ten close calls today. Right. Today, dude, like, we are getting f***ing nailed. It's too much for me, dude. And this is... This Donbass, dude, this war, man, in general, ain't no joke, dude. Yeah. Actually, I fled, I went to Odessa, and uh, I actually was, uh, had to call my mom, I'm like, look, these... This was an RT, so I'm not sure if I'm allowed to even have it here. The entire time, when he went to Ukraine to fight for Ukraine, his intention was to go to Russia and bring an intel with him. We're going to get to more details about the former U.S. Army soldier, but stand by. I'm in too deep. You know, these people, they're about to kill me, and I was really emotional, and luckily uh, my family was able to scrounge up $300 to send me so I could... How long were you in the military for? Two years. Two years? Yeah. Two Who years and a month. I think the guy got discharged for a psych issue, maybe broke his back. Two years seemed short. Now the Army used to have, there used to be three-year open enlistments. Not sure what happened there. You internet sleuths, let me know. Huh? Good years or... No, not really. <laughs> not really. A lot of drinking, you know. In the but, army? Oh yeah, of course. Part of the fun, I thought. Not good years. <laughs> I mean, what's wrong with that, buddy? Normal, standard practice, of course. Really? Yeah, yeah, of course. On base? Yeah, yeah. Cocaine, everything, weed, anything you want, you know. Prostitutes, hookers, you know, everything. On base? Yeah, they they arrested one guy. He was a oh. cavalry scout, and he. I don't remember the U.S. Marine Corps being like that. Maybe I was sheltered. Maybe I'm dumbass. But I don't remember there being lo loads of nose candy weed everywhere. Uh, I don't know if he's making this up or maybe that's a new thing. Clue me in, fellas. Barracks room, he had like bricks of cocaine. You know, he was like a... Uh, a dealer. Yeah, he was like the distributor for the whole base. Donnets, me and all the boys. Say what's up, y'all. John put up every appearance of a good mercenary. Like Jason Bourne, right? He got double cover. He gets over there saying he's going to help Ukraine with the intent to go to Russia and get all the quote-unquote intel he said he brought, which, I mean, I don't know how much intel. Let's be f honest about it. 2022, John served in Ukraine's Foreign Legion and Nationalist Battalion Karpatska Sich. He saw and documented <laughs> the Ukrainian war machine in all its ugly glory. Now you find people probably have a lot of opinions on this. Want to hear it in the comments, but but if you don't know, I was demonetized on all my channels on YouTube, which means they pay me nothing. So please get on my mailing list, link below, and you can find the videos in the future because I don't know where this is going to end up for me. From the inside, he became part of it. God bless Ukraine. God bless America. But f you, Russia. F you, Russia. It's f Russia. F the Russia. Can I uh, step on this? Slava Ukraini. Horon Slava. If I'm a Ukrainian, I get a guy come to the States, I'm like, this guy's weird. I mean, I get it. We're fighting. I'm not going to step on the Russian flag. I don't know. It just seems like it's try hard. Something seems odd, like his cover was kind of shaky in my mind. It's Russia. F Russia. Oh, all right. He bought everything with him. Papers, files, intelligence, and maps. The thing is, and, he uh, always meant to. The first question is, why, why are you here? I don't know what intel and maps and papers. I mean, this guy's just an average Joe useful idiot who went over there. But the intention, you know, most people want to go over there on Reddit. And they're like, I stand with Ukraine. They go over there and all of a sudden they get some shrapnel to their leg. And like, I'm, I need to go. I don't want any part of this. This guy did have some army training, have no idea what his MOS was. But let's just say he could pick up an M4 and point it in the right direction. Huh. Well, uh, it's the reason I came uh, to Ukraine in the first place. You know, uh, I'm a communist. I'm an anti-fascist. And... Um, we have to fight fascism everywhere, you know, so uh, I came. I always find it interesting they say communist and anti-fascist. <laughs> What's the difference there? I understand a lot of moving parts here. Everybody's got their opinions. But as a student of history, I understand what Mao and Lenin did to the said countries. But, you know, he's a young fella and idealist, right? That's his thing. Came to Ukraine. I knew uh, that I would try to get as much information as I could right. about, you know, mm -hmm. anything that would be helpful. Time went on. You know, I had to become more nationalistic, more Nazistic, you know, doing... Does uh, that explain the videos where you were, you were like, F Putin and... F yeah, yeah, of course, of course. It's, uh, 
And what is his use to Russia besides just being a propaganda piece? He can get up and say how bad the U.S. is, and how good Russia is. And I understand everybody's got their opinions. I'm not a big fan of what's going on right now. If you haven't seen Odin's Men, another channel that was nuked on YouTube, I made that pretty clear. So if you want to know how I feel, you can check that because I'm not going to waste um, your time here. It's part of it to maintain my cover because I got to become them. You know what I mean? If I'm going to be with them, I got to become them, right, you know, right. and doing the, you know, salute, stepping on Russian flags, everything. First came, I didn't, I kind of expected they wouldn't be that big of a problem. Like I, I kind of, you know, assumed that it was just, like a, yeah, I didn't, yeah, I didn't think there was actually that many, but uh, when I came, I was really surprised. It was everybody have, you know, tattoos and uh, Nazi symbolism sometime later on. I've heard this. But uh, you guys, what do you really think? I mean, is the bulk of the Ukrainian army the small mustache guy? I mean, I'm demonetized, so I don't really care. But what do you, are they mostly Nazis? I mean, I, I find it hard to believe, knowing many Ukrainians, they don't want really to have a dog in the hunt. I'm sure if you got conscripted, they go fight, right? You walk down the street, you're 20 years old, they're like, hey, young man, you're a Ukrainian citizen, here's a rifle, run that way. You don't have a dog in the hunt here with the small mustache guy. Um, um... On my Facebook page, I had uh, pictures of uh, Che Guevara and uh, the Soviet Union. These young kids are so stupid, right? Che Guevara, one of the biggest racists you'd ever meet if you look back at his history. I mean, I, I don't get these people that are the communists, right? And they know nothing about communism, never visited. Has he ever gone to Cuba, visited that country for a second, Venezuela? China outside of the big cities? Absolutely not. And uh, I got questioned for having communist views and uh, I had to think quick on my feet, you know, and yeah. I, I just told him, I said, hey, I'm an anti-fascist. I'm here to fight Russian imperialism and the Nazis and this and that. And they said, uh, no, the Russians aren't the Nazis. We're the Nazis. And uh, he sounds just like he's reading off the talking points. I mean, the war, Russia invaded Ukraine, right? And there's lots of reasons. NATO, I understand all that. Let's just stick with the facts. Russia invaded Ukraine. He wanted to go help Ukraine. How does this relate to fascism? You know, that's the part, because I understand there's a portion of Ukraine that's got small mustache people. I understand that to be the case. I don't think the whole country, right? You wouldn't think that. No, the normal people, everyday Joe, who just got sucked into this, has to go fight for his country. They, who, yeah. who said this? Who said this? Uh, it was just um, some guys from uh, Croatia or Czech. I can't remember what they were. Uh, these are foreigners as well. Foreigners, foreigners. yeah. Foreigners. And we're supporting these these guys, and these are supposed to be our ally, and we want right. to put them in NATO with us, and they can't even follow Geneva Convention, and they're supposed to be our friends. Don't you love the Geneva Convention, right? Can't you see us gas on foreign fighters, 50 caliber, not on personnel? You know, that anybody who's done anything, you know, that doesn't, none of that's real. 50 caliber, I mean, you guys chime in on that one. I want to hear your opinion. No 50 cal on personnel, but you can hit their gear, right? You know, that's always, I need to rework that, I think. This would never fly in America. The United States would never stand for this. Our whole country is literally burning in front of our eyes, and we're spending $500 million for these Nazis, billions of dollars for Nazi government. Let's just say it wasn't a Nazi government. It is not a Nazi government. Let's just say that, take it off the table. It's worth $500 billion. I know the people, the big brains say, well, we'll end up over there if we don't you know, have a proxy war. You know, but is it is it worth your money? Is it worth another 10 grand out of your pocket? Uh, you know, how do you feel about it? Do you stand with what's going on? I mean, tinfoil hats engage, my friends. Let me know. I'm open-minded. I'm nuked on YouTube. Again, make sure to go to the description below. Get on my mailing list if you want to see these videos. You know, so that's uh, infuriates me, and it's time for the American people to stand up and take control of our country. Or not. Over the year, John spent most... America's been conquered. I've said, talked about Native Americans before in Odin's Men, and I said we conquered them as Europeans. We've been conquered now. The southern border's wide open. Half our politicians have more interest in the CCP than they do actually Americans. I mean, the military, gone to complete shit. I'm here a lot. The military base, my wife was injured, long story, but I see that. The morale of the troops, I mean, it's not looking good at all. Of his time in squads with foreign mercenaries, he watched and documented names, mm. places, crimes, and much more. Well, I don't think any of that matters. I mean, at the end of the day, if you made it this far, I want to thank you. If you want to see future videos, make sure to get on my mailing list. I want to hear your thoughts about this. Let's say you're totally pro I stand with Ukraine. I want to hear it. Let's say you're against it. I want to hear it. Anywhere in between tinfoil hats engaged. You span the comments, you know, whatever at this point. It doesn't really matter. Thanks for watching.